jointly by squads of Tatar Musavatists and divisions of the Turkish army. In 1905-1906, the first mass pogroms of Armenians were committed, which were named an outrageous tragedy by the Catholicos of all Armenians, Mugurdich I, Khrimian Hayrik. 1918. Out of 88,673 Armenians living in Baku, 52,822 suffered, or 59.57% of the total number. Among them, killed 5,248, refugees 31,293, prisoners 3,396, lost 3,572. The coast became the witness of heartbreaking scenes. Huge crowds of those who were hoping to flee and the lack of boats created that relentless confusion. Family members are losing each other. Parents are losing their children, brothers, their sisters, spouses, each other. One is leaving while the other is staying due to the lack of available seats. Bakshi Ishkanyan wrote in his book, The Great Horrors in Baku. This scene will replicate in the port of Baku 72 years later, in the same place, with the same cruelty, with the same goals. The genocide of Armenians in Azerbaijan continued up to 1923, with its peak of atrocities in March of 1920, in Shushi, where 20,000 people became victims of merciless massacre. Later, due to the violence guised by the false Soviet internationalism, as well as terror and persecutions, Hundreds of thousands of Armenians had to flee from their place of origin. In response to the obvious white genocide, the self-determined Armenian population of Nagorno-Karabakh rose to protect their rights in a rightful and peaceful way. On February 20th, 1988, the session of the Nagorno-Karabakh Regional Council of People's Deputies made a decision to apply to the Supreme Councils of the Azerbaijani SSR and Armenian SSR with the request to transfer the Autonomous Republic of Nagorno-Karabakh from Azerbaijan's constitution into that of Armenia. The pogroms of Armenians in Sungait became the response to this constitutional demand of the Armenians of Karabakh. Those pogroms identified the originally existing civilizational watershed between the Armenians and the nationalist fanatics who had lost their human identity. The ferocious pogroms of Armenians in Sungait become a prelude to the bloody anti-Armenian bacchanalia which spread all over Azerbaijan in 1988 to 1992. Sungait, February 1988. Dozens of killed, burned alive, tortured, wounded, 18,000 exiled. May 1988, the entire Armenian population of Shushi is forcefully deported. Summer, fall, 1988. Thousands of civilians forcefully deported from the Armenian villages of the northern part of Nagorno-Karabakh. November, December, 1988. A wave of pogroms and deportation of Armenians is all over Azerbaijan. In November, 1988, Armenia was already flooded by hundreds and thousands of people 
fleeing from a savage massacre of Armenians in Baku and other areas of Azerbaijan. The bell rang on November 21st, 27th. Events in Kerovabad, Armenian Gansak. According to incomplete information, after seven days in the town, 18 were killed, 60 lost, 74 seriously wounded. It was only due to the self-defense organized by the Armenians that large-scale pogroms and killings were prevented. 45,000 Armenians were exiled from the town. In 1989, the economic blockade of Armenia and Nagorno-Karabakh began. The bandit attacks and pogroms on the roads, relentless murders of civilians, the forceful deportation of residents of Armenian villages, kidnappings, tortures, humiliation and beatings all took place. In Baku itself, the situation was deteriorating day by day. Armenians were largely fired from work. They were insulted and humiliated in the offices, public transport, shops, and public offices where they applied to receive documents. Due to the implementation of ethnic cleansing from 1988 to 1992, over 500,000 Armenians were forcefully deported from Azerbaijan. <laughs> Only within one year preceding the January genocide of Armenians in Baku, over 60 citizens of Armenian origin were inconspicuously killed in their homes, at work, and in the streets. Hundreds of Armenians were crippled, dozens of thousands exiled. From an article, Black Cold January, in the newspaper, Ofto, January 22nd to 28, 1991. Here are just some of the examples of what was happening that month. December 1st, the 60-year-old Armenian Gasparov was tortured to death. The same day, another Armenian was murdered. His name was not identified. Armenian graves were desecrated, gravestones destroyed. December 10th, Suren Krikorian was killed at his house after the most cruel tortures. December 16th, two Armenians were captured on subway station April 28th. One was beaten to death, the other managed to escape. December 26th, the Armenian church on the Fountain Square was set on fire. On December 31, the state borders between the Nakhichevan Autonomous Republic and Iran all along the Arox River were completely destroyed. Less than two weeks remained until the final act of Armenian pogroms in Baku. By January 1990, only 35,000 Armenians out of 230,000 remained in Baku. Those were mostly elderly and sick people, as well as their relatives who stayed to care for them. In the meantime, the targeted anti-Armenian psychosis was deepening in the town. Multi-thousand demonstrations of the People's Front were underway, with the main slogans reading, Death to Armenians. On January 10, 1990, a state of emergency was announced. 
but not in Barcelona.